All clear, sir. Mr. Serene? Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved, but his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages, the location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No. Wait. Please! <laughs> Please, stop! Please! Help me! Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. What do you want? Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. See those two men on either side of me? I'm going to stand, I'm going to leave. And the one on your right is going to shoot you in the head. Fuck you. Hmm.
Wait! What's wrong with you? Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of her report because they have all these government contractors who need two-way access. That means weaknesses. So, all Where? we have, huh? Where? Where what? Where, oh, weaknesses, you said. Shut the fuck up, Bernard. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple? Come on. Come on. And we're in. Eh? Street cams, dash cams, computers at headquarters. I mean, hell, I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's coffee? Yeah, I know, it's coffee. What the fuck is it doing on my desk, Brenner? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? It's a coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Now, you tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's gonna take, because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take Riverport under Monarch control. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. I just... Winka, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I, uh, I got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? What the... Hello? But I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office.
Em. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's the Come baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. any moment, Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and the Headquarters demanding answers. Our thoughts are with the families of Amy Ferraro and all others who are missing at this time. More on this story as it develops. Hold. There's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. 
Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. New industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Gotta be another way in there. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Huh? 
There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen. It was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts on disposing of those witnesses. Clear any trace of our involvement. Jack will come to us at the island tonight. During the gala? You're sure? Positive. Dispose of the witnesses. This is the last of the witnesses. No. Reaper team's finishing up with the last of them in A3. We didn't expect to be leaving the university with the kill list. Why not deal with them at the campus? You exposed at the campus to finish there. Had to move the whole lob here when things... There he is! Over, over. Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outside of the monarch operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. Paul's at the dry docks. And that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Us. 
to the firing pin again? Close it! You're the taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. You motherfuckers. Everybody from the university, they grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. Keep fighting. Those are my last words to her. That chills up my spine to think I might have... We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero. Look. I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks? Uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. Push. We gotta make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? No, not exactly. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. We can't let them get away with this. Gate's locked. There's gotta be a gate doohickey around here. I'll take a look. I can't believe this. The world's gotta know what happened here. Oh, hey, the gate's open. Okay, uh, gate's closing too fast. Not necessarily. So, how are you gonna get past that gate? Holy shit. What are you, some kind of goddamn X-Man? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's, um... Freaking sick, man! All right. Not the reaction I expected. Uh, I this kind of crap. Sit still. Driving a cab, I've seen some stuff, man. Oh, I'm just glad you're on my... It's locked. There's gotta be another way inside. Looks like there's an open window up above. It's worth a shot. Wait here, I'll try that. Man, this place gives me the creeps. Monarch bought up the whole area in 2010, but the real question is, why was everyone so eager to sell? I've heard everything from radiation leaks to ghost stories. Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. And now they just creep around all unemployed or, or whatever. Oh, okay, that last part is some work, but the first one Now to get to that door. Out. Yeah, that's definitely a theory. Charlie, I told you to stay off the operation. Yeah, sorry, but... 
I was starting to get a little antsy out there. I got footage of Bert taking out a guard in A1. All right, where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hmm, security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Direct fire! Did I scream that for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Nick, are you there? Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Taxi guy, where am I headed? It's Nick, by the way. Jack. Okay, uh, there's a door on the upper level leading to a sky bridge, but it looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. Locked, like he said. Gotta follow the squiggly line.
Richard's down. Damn, th that was quick. On the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for uh, Meyer Joyce particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? You don't think he's working for. No. Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. Sophia Amaral. Make sure everybody remembers the Stay sharp! He's here! Cronon sign. Joyce, you got nowhere to go! Harvesting warehouse. It looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there.
average elevator. Closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that got briefcase that brief we lifted from William Joyce's car. car. Laid out the Laid contents, contents in the trailer. trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene, Serene wants, wants the first look. 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 Till then, hands off. Hands off. So this thing okay. the universe. Looks like the trailer has power now. It was bad before. It's real bad now. It's bad. Okay. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for it. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll be to the dry docks. Channel one is the monarch. Jack, don't do anything stupid. around ground zero. Roger. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as it was clear that the workshop was in the center. I wanted to see what was in there. It seemed to be in
experiencing signs of an incoming stutter. Wait, guard. I want George to see that stutter. Okay, so I'm hoping for more backup. guys. Knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What is this? <laughs> what the hell? What, hell? what, is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? There's no words to describe. Will was gone, but... He was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my Me grant, grant extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do this. Don't do this. Sure. 
this works. Will. It's gone. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. <clears throat> okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock, I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. I refuse, I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. here. I need to contain him. Paul, your condition is critical. A stress. We got contact! There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
The stutters were getting bad. Me shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock.
Don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. My ride, my music. Deal with it. What led you to the swimming hall? Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. <laughs> 